Hello guys and gals. <clears throat> Make sure that this is focused as best as possible and I gotta try to keep it track an eye on it so um so that uh it doesn't go out of focus on this. Seems that, that when I light up light this up it goes out of focus. Uh this video is about uh some conclusions I've I've come to. Uh one is that you can polarize um a dielectric with plasma and and reverse that polarization with influence, external influence. That's a pretty simple conclusion, but this other one is not so simple, and uh, and kind of brings us into um, a deeper a deeper topic, which is um, the creation of lightning on our planet and what mainstream science seems to be teaching. Uh, there, this particular plasma globe experiment has been done and documented and is uh, uh, pretty uh, pretty well known it's been written in, into documentation the experiment and it's pretty well known in plasma physics and um, you know basically the the idea that mainstream science has of lightning is that there's a high and low pressures that interact create uh, hu humidity or clouds, and and then ice crystals form in higher atmospheres. The ice crystals collide inside the cloud and create lightning. And, and I know some of you uh, watching this and listening right now, since there's not much to watch, <laughs> are going to say, "Well, that's bogus." I, and and I 100% agree with you. I, I don't understand why that's our model and why our, our kids are being taught that, but l look it up. That is, in fact, the model that uh, mainstream science is sticking with, um, which I won't get into too much depth, but I do believe that uh, has more to do with uh, science, you know, being a perversion of, um, of belief rather than uh, belief being attained by science and uh, and you know the idea that we have ownership of things and can conquer conquer the universe and all that kind of stuff that's kind of falls into it instead of har harvesting what's there and and um, listening to listening to the universe and to the world and, and uh, naturally going with the flow so to speak um we ha we're gonna have some crazy ideas so um with that being said I i'll now show you the experiment that uh that essentially shows how lightning is formed and uh and uh unfortunately not discharged because um i, I would need a bipolar setup uh, or I would need to be able to get uh, energy out of the earth which uh, is something I'm I'm definitely fascinated by and, and, and working on I believe many people are uh, but uh, but you know to influence electrons out of the earth but uh, this is just going to go into uh, plasma which in Greek or Latin means the mold and how Plasma is one of the most excellent conductors and and is also, in a sense, storage of, of energy um, or tra a, 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 a transmitter of energy um, by exciting uh, electrons into a Townsend cascade. And uh, those electrons are, um, are excited in a medium of some sort and some of those mediums are not so visible uh, but for the most part noble gases are, are medium that are visible so uh, with that being said i'm gonna do this experiment and um, tell you some of my, tell you my conclusion of of lightning formation on this planet uh, and uh, but still leave you at your own belief uh, my power source or is my power source is obviously mains, and then into a magnifying transmitter <clears throat> or or a resonant receiver, um, 
and that will represent the cosmic energy of some sort, whether it be uh, um, in the far field. It's pretty well known that it, the Earth is pummeled with energy. Um, pummeled is kind of a, a forceful word. <laughs> we're in an energetic soup, and we're being bombarded or, 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 or licked by energetic um, particles and waves all the time, or particle waves, and that's a whole other theoretical thing. But um, uh, the sun is our near body. This Tesla coil will essentially represent the sun. And the, and the plasma globe, well, it, that would be the Earth. So, here we go. So now the Earth has built up charge. And once it comes in, see, I didn't even come in contact, it's just near. It was just near the uh, top load of the Tesla coil. And now it doesn't need to be the Tesla coil. I'll show that now. That is um, up on my pegboard. Some vice grips. Okay. Do this one more time. Check the. Uh, oh yeah, the focus went out again. There we go. Hopefully it'll stay in focus. actually put it on the top load that time, but again, it doesn't need to be on the top load. And then obviously my body, all things have capacitance, my body has capacitance, so I can put my potential difference or my electron spin orientation into the plasma globe's uh, um, exterior. Do this. Do this one more time. lightning strike. So hopefully that was, oh that looked like it was blurry again. Definitely blurry again. So, uh, hopefully, that will get some some creative juices flowing for some people or, or some ideas, but the, uh, the premise of that is that, uh, that plasma is in our upper atmosphere and, uh, the magnetosphere, the ionosphere, they are wonderful examples of plasma. You see Aurora Borealis, that is, that's plasma, uh, interacting with a magnetic field. Uh, some plasmas are easily seen. Some plasmas are probably not, um, and uh, and so that is that is uh, kind of uh, the conclusion I'm coming to on um, that particular aspect of, of just the plasma ball being it's grounded on the inside, and uh, this is a reverse effect. So this would be like a, a, a an asteroid coming into like the space shuttle or an asteroid coming into the Earth is they have uh, plasma around it and uh, it's essentially uh, 
fractal patterns coming coming off that. Now the fractal is just the is a near perception, but after those uh, cascades happen and the 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 multiplication happens, uh, it does seem to have an adverse uh, occurrence of 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 kind of coming into uh, an, another another uh, uh, to a resting place, I guess. Uh, so. I wouldn't go. I wouldn't be so bold to say that there's some type of over unity or anything like that. But uh, but it is uh, what we consider the fourth state of matter. Uh, that's or what many people consider as the fourth state of matter. I, I personally don't believe that matter really exists. I think it's everything is energy, but it's like uh, but different vibrations. It's all uh, different materials vibrate and oscillate at different frequencies and have cohesion and and. Um, and have attraction and repulsion to different other materials and things of that nature. So uh, I hope that this was understandable. If you see any holes, please feel free to to leave a comment. Um, I like to think of myself as a critical thinker. You know, I, li I like to critically think, uh, and uh, I I don't ever get locked into one particular idea. And I actually enjoy, I do and I don't enjoy being wrong. Um, I do enjoy it because then I learn something. So, and I'm wrong more times than I'm right. And, and uh, so that's, with that being said, um, it'd be wonderful if people shared this video to, to, to explain to others a little more about it, uh, our electric universe and how, um, and, and, uh, and how, lightning can occur build up as a built up charge in the dielectric field of our earth and how it would discharge into a lower vibration um, um, and at the same time still uh, loop back into a higher vibration in in a sense um, it's it's that that part is something that I, I'm still working on <laughs> the loop back of uh, of uh, a magnetic field, a, a field presence, or a unified field. Um, but from perception, we can see the fractal patterns, which also have an infinite potential according to the geometric shape. And uh, and so, in mainstream science and um, and astrophysics, physics, especially quantum physics, is a little more open. Um, but this is most of this is theoretical. But things like this are not theoretical and they've been proven by quite a few people um, for some reason there's still uh, a, a, an astrophysics there's still a, oh no there's no uh, electricity plays a very little role um, in the universe uh, gravity is the strong is the is the strong force um, and and light but uh, light is essentially electricity and uh, f uh, the photons are emitted from some type of field presence um, you know how how is how is the light created in the first place you know you have to go back to the source and look at the foundations of things before you can, we can start making uh, measurements according to the speed of light um, and with that I'll leave you a question how fast do you think the speed of magnetism is and again with that I'll fit you very well bid you farewell and i apologize for the stuttering it's it's early in the morning and uh i'm trying to get get this done quietly so so uh none of the family wakes up and uh, uh take care everybody